Good afternoon, designers, and welcome to episode 98 of Game of Rugs. Today we are going to submit a room, do some voting, look at some score results, and talk about the new bundles. Because, like, I don't know about what life is like while you're in quarantine, but while I'm in quarantine, the new bundles are, like, the most exciting thing to happen in months. Well, it feels like months. I know it's not really months, but I feel like we've been here a long time. Um, so I already did today's daily and I sent it in without sharing it with you because I was completely and totally uninspired by the room. But one room that I do really love is this soaking in St. Lucia room. First of all, I am so excited about this bookcase. I love it. It's beautiful and it will be useful. And it's nice when you get furniture that really adds to a room. But beyond the prize, I love the room. I'm so into these restful, natural looks. And I love the bohemian stuff that has come in these new bundles. I like this room so much. I mean, it's very, I understand it's bland. I get that it's not going to score very well, but it has been a tonic for my soul. So like, you know, whatever, I don't care about the score. Um, also in news of I don't care about the score, I did this room a couple of days ago and again, I know it's very bland. I love it, and I wish that I was there. Um, and in fact, a year ago at this time, I was there. I was in Morocco last year at this time. Um, and then with the Bohemian stuff, I've used some of it. I mean, I've used quite a lot of it, actually. Um, in a room like this, which I also love, and I'm just having a good time with this um, pack. So here's all this. Oh, no, and then they've added new stuff. Happy Easter, by the way, and a joyous Passover. I am slightly miffed that the festive spring decor is all about Easter and bunnies and eggs and nothing that recognizes Passover, but they're not great at this. Um, so I guess I'm not surprised. Anyway, let us vote on this room and get it sent in. I should probably put a rabbit somewhere, but you know, I'm not going to do that. Let us vote. Oh, I hope this is one of the Oh, that's the room that I just showed you. Okay, well, we can see my preference. We know what my preferences are for my design. Neither one of these rooms is particularly inspired. Uh, they're both fine. I mean, they're not fine, but they're equally unfine, so that's okay. Uh, the room on the top has rugs. The room on the bottom has better stuff for the theme, but, you know, it's not called Game of Rugs for nothing. Oh, here we go. Uh, it's not great, but it's not terrible. I do like the the chairs. And um, the rugs are an okay choice. And the flowers were nice. Oh my god, okay. Something, something has happened. Like, you don't want to be like, oh my god, this person was doing a dump because clearly they were not doing a dump. This is actually a nicely put together room. It's just the two different rugs. I don't think they know about the two different rugs, like that you can't do that. So um, we're not going to vote for that room. We're going to vote for the room on the top. And I mean, of course, you can do two different rugs. Like, it's a game. These are fake rooms. You can do whatever you want. Do whatever you want in your real life rooms. That's fine, too. It's just, um, it's not attractive to voters. The person at the bottom really has themed this room nicely. It's very fresh. I really like this. It's a good choice of stuff. And I really want to vote for this room. The room on the top is nicely coordinated, 
But man, it's so dark and heavy. It doesn't work with the setting. And it's depressing. And, and I don't need to be more depressed than I already am. Thanks. Oh, okay. So this is the French makeover room. And I love me some French rooms. And I tried to put together a room for this challenge. And I think that I just ended up taking everything out of the room and backing away. Because, yeah, no, see, I had the same chairs and the same black couches as the person on the top. And they just look so big and bulky, and I just thought it wasn't attractive. But if I had known everybody else's room was also going to be unattractive, I would have gone ahead and submitted mine. That's so annoying. Um, there's, there's very little between these two rooms. Uh, vote them equal. The room on the bottom is not unattractive. I mean, even if the person on the top... I just that, that does that look like a dump room to anybody else? I don't know. It has decor, so I can't tell. But um, so the room in the top is not happening, but the room in the bottom is is nice. So let's vote for that. Uh, good, nice chairs on the bottom. Wow. I mean, you can't see anything else, but those are lovely chairs. Wow, I love those. Okay, those are hideous from the other side. Wow. Oof. All right, we're voting for the room on the top because I do love the chairs on the bottom, but they don't go with the rug and I can't see anything else. The scale of the furniture in the rooms is so important. Uh, these rooms are nearly identical. I mean, there's... Let's vote for the room on the top because we like blue. I like blue. I don't know what you like. Um, I'm not a big fan of the red theme on the bottom although it's nicely carried out and i prefer the pink theme on the room on the top so we're going to vote for that okay we have enough keys to enter back to the design is there anything i'd like to second guess at this point the answer is no i really 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 like this room i wish it was in my house and i hope i win this prize okay Happy Easter, little room. And now let us look at some modestly depressing results. A Seychelles honeymoon. Okay, well, I thought that this room was on point. Like, it's blue outside, and I put blue inside. And look at the white in the clouds. But I did what, see, mission accomplished. It was all about winning this couch, and I did. So that's fine. And it looks like the rooms in the bottom... Um, there was a lot of variety, so that's nice, but it, oh, they seem to have all used uh, more recent art, and also some of these people didn't put their room in until after this limited edition pack had come out, whereas I got mine in really early before these limited edition packs were out, so I'm actually really happy with that. Um, cool. Cool. That's a high score. 4.86. Love these chairs. And somebody has held on to that stuff. I remember that limited edition. That stuff was so nice. Um, oh, no. Sorry. Those are level 79 prizes, but they are quite similar to the limited edition decor that was this. So... And then there's this blue one. That's really nice. Really nice. Great choice of rug. Beautiful. Everybody did a good job on that. And now that I look at mine, 4.86 seems a little high. So that's a nice... No, 4.89 with my $350 art pieces. Um, sometimes we... I don't know about you, but sometimes the stuff that's cheaper I forget about. And I don't use that often, but I really went on a hunt and ended up choosing these because they were the only orange art pieces that I had access to. And, uh, yeah. I liked this room. That's, I mean, it's not um, my personal favorite, but it's very well done. 
Not sure about this, you guys. Um, well, again, do you know what? It's good, but it's ugly. Like, I think it's ugly, but it's well done. So if you didn't think that these things were ugly, this would be a great room. So maybe you voted for that room. What about this one? Nice. Um, I don't have strong opinions about this room, except for the part where I'm super lucky with my 4.89, and I didn't think the fives were that great. Challenge results. Waterside in Portland. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Everything, you know what, how I mentioned scale a few minutes ago? Everything I put in this room just seemed tiny. Everything seemed tiny. Uh, look, we won this <clears throat> lovely chair. Blah. You know what? It'll look fine with a beige sofa somewhere, someday. I'm curious to see who managed. See, look how much fuller. Oh, well, they use floor, de floor decor. Okay, so this person used larger furniture, floor decor. I did not waste my floor decor because I knew that um, I wasn't going to score well with what I had in that room, so I just didn't add the extra stuff. Also, I think I probably submitted before these packs were available. Um, but yeah, it just looks so much fuller. So basically, everybody who got a higher score than I did did a better job than I did. So that seems fair enough. It was one of those rooms and I was just like, you know, I put a bunch of time. I love that. I love those chairs. Those are my favorite chairs. I know they're weird. I don't care. I just love them. And I love the armchairs that match. Uh, yeah. My room was, this is a, this is, this is a fair score. 4.35 is appropriate for this room. Um, what else do we have? Hanging out in London. 4.65. <clears throat> um, I'm trying to think if I have feelings. I don't do a lot of outdoor rooms. Traditionally, I do not excel at them. I would say that this is one of the better outdoor rooms I've ever put together. I really like it. And now I want to know, I mean, 4.65 is a high score. That's, I, I should be happy with that. But we're going to go down and look at the ones that were fives. And I'm telling you right now, they better be extraordinary. Wow, I want a rectangle. Yay. I mean, they're not extraordinary. Are they significantly? I mean, they're all quite similar. I guess, I guess people were making decisions on, um, based on minimal differences because actually all of these are pretty similar, but I'm going to be honest. My room is way more attractive than this. But whatever. Oh, these were some of my favorite limited edition things. These, I thought they were so cute. Well, what can you do? I really like this room. I'm just going to be sulky about that one. 4.13. That, that's a, that, that's smarts. Goodness. Goodness. Oh, I love this. <gasps> oh, I love that. What, what one? Okay, that's, I mean, I don't really love those colors, but that's a nicely put together room. And that, <clears throat> sorry, that wall art is obviously the right wall art to have used. Um... It's very 70s. 
Oh my god, speaking of the 70s, I have been watching tons of YouTube videos because I don't know about you. There's, I'm like bored in the house and in the house bored watching tons of YouTube videos. And I saw somebody who normally runs a, um, D, a makeover channel who now obviously is stuck in her own house and has nothing to make over but her own home. So she's been doing that during quarantine. You guys, she willingly and excitedly painted her kitchen cabinets avocado. I am old enough to know that sister is going to live to regret that decision so hard. <gasps> uh, avocado is not making a comeback. It is not a thing. It is terrible. And I just, when we bought this house, we renovated and uh, the last, we ran out of money before the back of the house. So I lived with the avocado bathroom suite that was in this house from 1968 that was, was when that bathroom was put in. It was put in in 1968, and I had to live with that avocado bathroom suite for probably three years. And every time I walk into my bathroom, I am so thrilled. Still, like decades later, I am thrilled that I'm not walking into avocado. God. Okay. Yay. Well, this feels like it was 300 years ago, but that's a nice way to finish up. Prizes won, some diamonds and a blue chair. Tufted things are always useful though because um, tufted things are always useful because there are requirements for all kinds of things. Okay, my room that won looks a lot like other people's rooms that won. I mean, obviously yellow and black was the theme here. I don't really know what else you could have used. Well, I take that back. I saw people using lots of things in voting. I don't know what else you could have used successfully. Mmm. Okay, well, you know what? Everybody here did well. This is nice. I'm surprised that more people didn't uh, use these packs on the winning rooms. Nope, that was just me. Like, literally, I thought that's what I was supposed to do because of the yellow. I don't know. So I was, I didn't feel like it was a great room, but I thought that it was one of those things where you just dump the bundle and at, that's what everybody was going to do. But it turns out that that's not what everybody did. And it's just, it's a lucky five. Um, I don't know if there was anything else super exciting in my results recently. Not really. The scores have been not great. I did have a moment of highs and lows. I... Liked this room, which scored a 4.02. And I felt like I had been thoroughly spanked for a crime I, I didn't understand and I still don't understand. And then this room got a 4.92 and I was like, but it's the ugliest room in the world. And then I decided that maybe it's not really that ugly. It's just heavy. Um, I mean, I wouldn't want to live with it, but it is nicely put together. So I don't know. Anyway, uh, that's pretty much it. We have these premium packs, and I love them. I mean, I really like the premium packs, but more than that, I am so into the rooms that they have given us to decorate with these rooms, and um, I'm just loving them. Oh, look, it's going to be, it's bunny themed. It's a bunny themed room. That one's pink. But yeah, I love those, those natural rooms. I think they're beautiful. Um, I really like this bohemian wanderlust room. I don't feel like I've done a great job with this particular one, uh, but that doesn't mean I'm not having fun. Well, apparently I'm not showing you this room because Design Home has just crashed. Yeah. So, yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying the new um, packs and that you are getting great scores and that you are um, enjoying this Easter weekend and having a happy Passover and that everybody is safe and well. And I will see you again next week for episode 99 of Game of Rugs. If you enjoyed this episode, please give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see future episodes, please feel free to become a subscriber. Bye now.